Hey everyone, it's December 7th, and that means that if today's your birthday, you share with murderer and master forger Mark William Hoffman, most known from the 2021 Netflix documentary Murder Among the Mormons. And that is him right up there. Born in 1954, Hoffman was a sixth generation Mormon and grew up in a very religious household in Utah. He was a below average student, but was great at tinkering with things and figuring out how they work, and also liked to make small homemade bombs, which he detonated with friends outside of town. An avid coin collector, as a teenager he forged a rare mint mark on a dime and got it past authenticators who believed his coin was a rare specimen instead of an ordinary coin he had modified. He spent two years as a missionary in England, but was developing doubts about the church, reading a skeptical biography of Joseph Smith while he was there. When he returned to Utah, Hoffman enrolled at Utah State University, and in 1979 he got married and started a family, having four children with his wife. The next year, he claimed to have found a 17th century Bible with a folded piece of paper inside, which was a famed missing transcript of Joseph Smith that included reformed Egyptian characters allegedly copied by Smith from golden plates he used to translate the Book of Mormon. The church heralded this discovery, and Mormon scholars authenticated the document as being real, valuing it at $25,000. It was a forgery, however, and was just the first of many Hoffman would produce over the next five years. He dropped out of school to become a rare book dealer with the money he gained by selling the forgery. Hoffman replicated many other documents and became known as someone who would discover previously unknown significant items to the church. He fooled church elders and historians alike with the desire to not only make money selling fakes, but to embarrass a church in which he no longer believed. Some of his documents were touted as important finds, and others were hidden away as they contradicted church teachings and even caused bidding wars between varying sects of Mormons who disagreed about whether Brigham Young or Joseph Smith Jr. had been designated the successor to the Elder Smith. Articles about his documents were run in the New York Times and other media outlets with this skill so great that no one doubted their authenticity. In 1985, he created a replica of The Oath of a Freeman, a document that was printed in short supply in 1639 with no known surviving copies. He negotiated a sale with the Library of Congress for his fake with a value of over a million dollars. Hoffman lived an increasingly lavish lifestyle and needed more and more money, finding himself in debt despite making millions from his forgeries. The sale of the Oath of a Freeman was taking longer than anticipated, and doubts about it began to pop up, and he had started selling items he didn't yet have time to create, so he had collectors hounding him for his fake documents. He began constructing bombs to buy himself more time, sending two to a document collector and the wife of his former employer on the same day, killing both. This was intended to make it look like the killings were related to a business venture of his former boss that was collapsing, and the next day Hoffman himself was injured by a bomb accidentally exploding in his own car. During their investigation, police found evidence of his activities, and in 1986 he was arrested for murder and forgery. He pleaded guilty to theft by deception and secondary murder, being sentenced to life in prison. When his wife filed for divorce, he attempted suicide in his cell, causing muscle atrophy in his forging hand, permanently disabling it. Hoffman remains in prison in Utah as he's been unable to forge a pardon for himself. If this is your birthday, have a great day. And to Mark William Hoffman, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.